So I just watched the documentary Virunga on Netflix, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should. Virunga is a national park in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo that's incredibly beautiful and imperiled by poachers, oil interests, and war. Finalement, nous serons aussi jugés. Nous allons seulement croiser le bras quand le parc sera en train de disparaître. Watching the park rangers defend Virunga with their lives, literally, made us want to celebrate not just the heroes in that film, but elsewhere in Africa. So, here's our list of environmental heroes you should know about. In the movie Virunga, we see park ranger Andre Boma put his life on the line for the endangered mountain gorillas in his care. It's an important task since there are only 880 mountain gorillas left in the world. C'est ça ma vie. When rebel fighting against DRC's government threatens the park, Boma refuses to leave his post. And as Virunga has gotten movie awards buzz, Boma's simple message is reaching a huge audience. The gorillas sont des animaux qui sont très importants pour pour moi et même pour toute l'humanité entière. South African activist Desmond Dessa won a 2014 Goldman Environmental Prize for his work in South Durban. South Durban is an industrial hub that's home to oil refineries, chemical plants, and 300,000 working class residents. The area has been called Cancer Valley for its high cancer rates, not to mention asthma. So when a controversial landfill of toxic waste was up for lease renewal, Dessa rallied the community. He helped residents measure air quality without fancy technology, connected them to legal aid, collected landfill samples at night, and made a general stink in the media. The result? The landfill closed. And even though his house was firebombed in what seems like an attempt to silence him, Dessa is still pushing for change. Raoul Dutois has helped create wildlife conservations throughout Zimbabwe. A Zimbabwean himself, Dutois has dedicated his life to protecting endangered black rhinos. Black rhinos have been poached for decades for their horns, and the world's population has declined by almost 97% since 1960. So Dutois founded the Lowveld Rhino Trust in 2009 to give rhinos a safe home. With poaching on the rise over the past few years, Dutois' work is more necessary than ever. Our last hero isn't just one person. We're talking about 15,600 fishermen in Nigeria who demanded that Shell clean up the huge mess it made. Two massive Shell oil spills in 2008 and 2009 devastated the Bodo community in the Niger Delta. But the fishermen fought back in a lawsuit that just came to an $84 million settlement. The spills, which Shell admits were caused by a faulty pipeline, killed fish, polluted water, and even caused headache and eyesight problems. Shell will give each fisherman $3,300, and the fisherman's lawyer says the company has promised to clean up Bodo Creek. They better. So, those were just a few of the inspiring environmentalists we've heard about. Did we miss anyone? Let us know.